Hi Fire Signs, my name is JC of The Mindful Awakening and welcome to your mid-month October readings. Did I say that right? Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> your mid-October readings, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, if these messages resonate with you, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I drop a video like this one. If you click on the description box below, you'll see timestamps. You can go ahead and click forward to watch the messages specific to your sign. We are starting off with Aries. All right, Aries, let's see what messages are in store for you. Show us what we need to see for Aries signs, sun, moon, and rising for the remainder of October. All right, let's see what's in store for our Aries signs. Aries signs, we have here the Ten of Swords. There's an ending that you're going through right now. This could be an ending in relationship, an ending in work, an ending in an old way of your being, an ending of some sort of toxic cycle, uh, something that has been going on for quite some time. This is Swords energy, so um, it's a lot more cerebral as well. Uh, let's pull some clarification cards and see what this ending is about for you. Show us what we need to see for this ending for our Aries signs. It's heavy emotional energy. So let's see. What is this Ten of Swords? Aries signs, yeah, you are definitely leaving something behind that is no longer serving you. We have the Eight of Cups upright. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. And we also have the seven of wands in reverse. Um, you don't want to defend a situation. You don't want to defend yourself anymore. I feel like this is more of a love relationship for some. If you have been fighting with your partner or fighting with somebody that uh, pulls on your heartstrings, someone that you are emotionally tied to, this could even be a family member, a parent, a relative, a cousin, brother, sister, somebody, father, mother, Somebody that you are emotionally tied to makes you go on the defensive about something and you've literally run out of ideas about how to deal with this relationship. And you're kind of just throwing your hands up in the air and realizing there's nothing you can do to change this person or change a situation. You just have to let it go. And so letting it go and you walking away with the Eight of Cups up right here. Um, the interesting thing about the Eight of Cups is that even though there are five cups that are spilled, there are still three cups that are standing. And so the message here is that even though this seems helpless and it feels frustrating because you always have to defend yourself, you might not know what to do next. There's still some opportunities to connect here. So even though you have a 10 of swords, which is um, an ending card, uh, the bigger message here, I think, is to take a step back and give it some room to breathe and revisit the situation when people are calmed down because there is still an opportunity to reconcile or at least to accept each other for who you guys really are. Okay, you can't force someone to change. You can't force someone to be something that they're not. So I think the greater message is, can you still coexist with each other even though they are who they are and you are who you are? Stick around to the end of the video. We will pull more clarification on that for advice, Aries signs. All right, Leos, what's in store for you for the remainder of October? Leo signs, show us what we need to see for Leo signs, sun, moon, and rising for the remainder of October. Leo signs. Leo signs, we have here the 10 of cups. It showed up sideways, to be honest. I don't know if this is upright or in reverse because it spun around when it fell and it fell sideways. So for some of you, I think you're gonna be feeling some emotional fulfillment. For others of you, I think something is gonna be emotionally draining. Let's go ahead and pull some clarification to see what this means and how it will apply to you. I'll judge this. I'll judge how the card fell based off of the clarification that we pull. Ten, sorry, nine of cups, nine of cups, nine of cups. I don't know if I said 10 of cups, my bad if I did. Mercury retrograde, what can I say? I meant nine of cups. Okay, so for the nine of cups I have here, I'm gonna pull this card in reverse. 
I'm going to pull this card in reverse, but you know what? It's kind of fitting that it fell sideways because it really is going to depend on how you look at the situation. We have the lover's card upright, the eight of wands upright, and we also have, what is this? The eight of pentacles in reverse. Sorry, these cards are really small and I'm not wearing my glasses, so it's hard for me to see. <laughs> um, you don't want to work at something anymore. Uh, it's either you don't want to work at this relationship anymore or someone doesn't want to work with you. You're seeing something for what it truly is. Uh, after a period of no communication, there's going to be a lot of quick communication happening between you and this person. Could be a Gemini sign. If it is not a Gemini, the lovers can indicate a soulmate connection here. Uh, a choice also needs to be made regarding this particular situation, but I think it's a choice that you've already made but have not communicated yet. That communication is happening towards the end of this month after, I believe, Mercury stations direct, which is happening tomorrow, uh, which is October 18th. So for the next two weeks, station direct means that uh, things aren't going to happen as fast right away. It's going to take some time for things to kind of um, happen for everybody. Um, and so What's clear here is that you don't want to work on this anymore and you're kind of, you've had your, you're at your wit's end. So I don't believe that this nine of cups is showing up upright. On one hand, it's showing up upright because you're seeing that this relationship is not in alignment with you. On the other hand, it's feeling immediately really sad. This is not how you wanted things to conclude for you and this person. So depending on how you look at the situation, this nine of cups could either be upright or in reverse, depending on how you're looking at it, because this is a blessing in disguise. All right, kind of makes sense as to why it flew out that way. Sagittarius signs, you are next. What is in store for our Sagittarius signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of October, for the remainder of October? What else do we need to know for our Sagittarius sign, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the remainder of October? Show us what we need to see, please. Sagittarius signs, you are dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo sign. If not a person, then you are dealing with stability. Are you in the right job? Is your life feeling like it's coming together? Uh, are you making the money you want to make? Do you feel secure in yourself, in your life, in the money in the bank? How are you feeling about these types of structures around you? Let's pull some extra clarification cards. What does this Queen of Pentacles mean for Sagittarius signs? I feel like money's on your mind, Saggies. Sagittarius or work stability overall queen of pentacles please queen of pentacles is clarified by king of swords in reverse hanged man in reverse and ace of pentacles upright you got some new ideas included that involve making money or a new job or a new creative project um, however you haven't been able to see things from all points of view um, and there might be some confusion as to how to get something started even though there is a new creative idea here for you that would generate some money um, into your life now we also have the king of swords you could be dealing with an air sign Aquarius Libra or a Gemini this person might not see your ideas the same way that you see them so you might have someone in your life that you're connected to that can't see the benefits of what you think you're going to be doing next with this project, this idea that you have that's rooted in money and stability. So remember, this is not about proving to other people that it's a good idea. This is about doing something that feels good to you. You'll never know unless you try. So the advice here is you have an idea, try it out. Don't focus on convincing this air sign in your life about its validity. You know that it's valid, try it out and see what happens next for you Sagittarians. All right, let's pull some overall advice. We're gonna pull one card for each of our fire signs, starting off with Aries, Leo, and then Sagittarius. Final advice, please, for our fire signs. Final advice for fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Aries. 
Show us what we need to see for Leo. Show us what we need to see for Leo. And Sagittarius, any advice for Sagittarius? All right, Aries signs, your advice is Lord Shiva, transcendence, rise up, honor your inner force, steps are being given, dance with the universe. Even though this feels like an ending, remember what I said, dance with the universe because there's still ways to reconcile this. There's still three cups of love, emotion in this situation, even though it feels hopeless, it's actually not. So rise up, honor your inner force. Leo, your advice is Malki's deck, higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. This is a big learning lesson for you. This relationship that where the nine of cups showed up sideways, whether it's good or bad, you know, this is all a learning lesson. Choose your perspective with how this choice that you're making is going to affect you. And my advice is look at this as a positive because everything that doesn't work out is always a learning lesson. Sagittarius, your final advice is Kuthumi, cloak of wisdom. You already know the answer you seek, trust what you know. If you're looking for validation from this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you're not gonna get it. So stop waiting for other people to tell you what you should do next. Trust what you already know. You already have the answers that you seek. I say, do it. <laughs> you won't know unless you try. Fire signs, I hope these messages resonated with you. If you enjoy this style of reading, please kindly let me know in the comments below so I can keep it going. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.